welcome back to the Buchanan family. Today it is, what day is it today? It's Tuesday today and we have been for our food shop. Of course, I have been to my good old favourite Lidl. Today I actually didn't get like a lot of shopping, if you guys can see behind me. I don't feel like I got a lot. Not that I didn't get a lot from my money, but I just didn't buy a lot. I didn't need a lot. I spent £39 in Lidl, which is like nothing. <laughs> And then I actually did have to go to Morrison's because there were a few things they didn't have in Lidl, which is fine, it's a bit of a pain um, because our Morrison's near us is actually getting all done up. So they like half the car park, it's just weird, it is weird. And it's got like the world's smallest doors, there used to be fire doors <laughs> for everybody to go in and out of. So it's a bit of a joke. But let's get on with the haul guys. I will show you as we go what I bought from, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> what I bought from Morrison's, it's, it's only a few things. I spent about four pounds in Morrison's, so like it really wasn't a lot, but like look at how bare, but then look like how full my fruit bowl still is. I don't know, I've just been buying, I think maybe too much food. I like my fridge, considering it's shopping day, my fridge is still literally full of bags of cheese. <laughs> Because these were on offer in Lidl this weekend, last weekend rather, for £1.50 a bag, which is a great price. So I still have them left. I still have like some fruits and veggies and my freezer. <laughs> Wait till you see my freezer. It's still, my freezer's like chock full. Like I don't have any space in my freezer at all. So yeah, I just still have a lot of food. So I didn't need a lot. But let's show you what I did buy. And we'll start with the fruits and vegetables. So I got a bag of organic bananas. I got two bags last week with the intention to freeze some to turn them into like smoothies and smoothie bowls and all that kind of thing. But I kind of forgot. <laughs> they have went a bit spotty, but they're still like inside. I opened one this morning for a smoothie bowl for the kids and they are still perfectly fine inside. So I'm going to make banana muffins with three of them. So that only leaves like two bananas or three bananas or something, which I will just freeze for smoothies. I asked the kids to get a bag of oranges and they got me a bag of easy peelers and I only noticed when we came home and I'm like that's not oranges <laughs> but anyway and then grapes are on offer this week I think these were like 90 pence or something like that in Lidl and then a big look at this big giant broccoli it's humongous and then I got these leeks from Morrison's because they didn't have any leeks in Lidl like no leeks at all and I'm going to make leek and potato soup and then a punnet of blackberries. The blueberries were a bit meh. The strawberries were a bit meh. The raspberries were a bit meh. And I don't find it's just little. I find it's just kind of everywhere just now as it's just really not the same. How can it not be the season for fruit? But do you know what I mean? Like it just seems like all the fr good fruit is gone now. But the blackberries looked great. So I've got a box of them for the kids. Uh, a bag of Granny Smiths. As I said, I've still got a lot of apples left. I normally buy two bags but I really didn't need two because I bought like three bags of apples last week so we really only need two. And then I got a big bag of onions. I'm making, I think I just said I'm making leek and potato soup so onions for that. I'm also making like a kind of sausage casserole for the kids for their lunch so I'll use at least one onion for that. And then the kids have never really seen a corn like this so we're gonna I think husk it, is that the right word? We're gonna husk it and then just cook that up along with the casserole today. And a bag of desiccated coconut. We got this from Morrison's because they didn't have any in Lidl. They have had it before, but they didn't have any or like a space for it as if they sell it, but they're sold out or out of stock at the moment. So we just picked this up in Morrison's. It's for protein balls, smoothie bowls, and just kind of things eaten. No, you wouldn't really like eat it from the packet or anything, but just stuff like that. And that, that is literally all my fruit and veg for this week. And then fresh stuff, we got some turkey mince. The kids have asked for chilli, so I'll be making some chilli. Some ham, some back bacon to make breakfast wraps. And then I didn't get any cheese. As I showed you guys, I've got like so much cheese. I don't need any more cheese. I got two soft cheeses, one yogurt, because we've still got like one left. A carton of milk some sausages for the sausage casserole. We had these in Lidl today and it's kind of like they had like a whole 
vegetarian refrigerator sort of thing it was like had some veggie stuff and some vegan stuff so i got these falafel for the kids i thought they could have them in their pet lunches that we do at dinner time because that's a whole other story but i thought they would be nice i know you can make your own falafel it is super easy and much cheaper to make your own but what we'll do is i'll see if the kids like these if they do then i will make my own but i don't think they would look as nice as that because they look like super crispy and then some chocolate mousses for the kids two packets of organic eggs i speak about this all the time i prefer to buy organic eggs if i can't get organic eggs i'll buy scottish free range eggs but i do prefer organic and then a bag of these froggle crisps i thought these would be good kind of and lunchbox type things as well these are actually <laughs> i'm speaking like a frog there these are gluten free and they're so nice they're like palm bears but they're so much nicer so much nicer we've got them for the kids some wholemeal bread cheese twists some onion gravy granules i've never tried this so i don't know if it's any good or not we shall see i'm kind of like like when it comes to shopping you guys will see like there's nothing nothing here that's brand name i am not like super loyal to a brand i'm not that person i'm all about getting the best bang for my buck and i'll go to whatever shop i feel offers that i'll buy supermarket own brand i'll buy branded if it's the best price but um i don't know when it comes to gravy sometimes i just don't like shops own versions so we shall see how this turns out if it's nice or not i'll let you guys know and the same goes for these stock cubes these are ham i want chicken they didn't have chicken. They sell like Oxo and Lidl, but only beef. I think beef stock cubes taste disgusting. I really like chicken stock cubes, but I got ham for my soup, so we shall see how that turns out. And some vanilla extract for my muffins. This is Madagascan vanilla extract, so it's not essence. Vanilla essence is the cheap stuff. It's like fake, it's not actual vanilla, whereas vanilla extract is actual, like, vanilla, <laughs> if that makes sense. But this is only like 60... 60 or 70 pence and little i think that's really good and they also had almond extract as well and then some cheese crackers I've got two little packets of the mini wraps one for breakfast wraps and one I'll probably do quesadillas for lunch one day and then i got this tiny tiny little half baguette for the kids they'll have half today with sausage casserole for lunch and they'll have sausage casserole again tomorrow so i'll have the other half then and then a box of like wee chubberk so this is the little one again i'm not fussy wheat bix tastes like wheat bix if i'm honest with you moving over here i got a big giant 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 bag of white potatoes i am digging potatoes at the moment that's that was not a pun no pun intended but i'm digging potatoes i'm loving potatoes so i bought this big bag it's so cheap i bought a bag last week and pretty much finished them and for seven and a half kilos which is what is that like 16 pounds or something if you guys are american i don't know who measures stuff in pounds is that american people i don't know <laughs> but anyway these are seven and a half kilos of just regular white potatoes they're scottish they're actually very very good they're super cheap for the seven and a half kilo bag it was i would need to check my receipt but i think it was two pound fifty or two pound sixty that is amazing in my personal opinion because a two kilo bag of potatoes is two pounds two pounds fifty so for that like blows my mind blows my mind you you can get all those potatoes for that price and they're nice because if they're not nice then there's you know there's no point in buying it and it does say um like i don't know what kind of like type this is it's like all different potatoes in it i don't know but it's i don't know i think it's like a potluck what you get but it looks you can see at the back you can see inside it and it's like the same not breed what is that called oh man it's our baddest the same type oh i don't know variety variety same variety of potatoes at that i got last week so yeah potatoes i think i said big wraps if i didn't we got big wraps and then i got these from morrison's these are just muffin cases little didn't have anything like this i would have settled for cupcake cases but they didn't have anything so just a thingy of muffin cases some multivitamins for the kiddies i have been taking these in the past but i actually think i have an iron deficiency and i can't be bothered going to the doctors to get that checked because especially because all they'll do is give me iron tablets which i already have because i've had problems with iron before but my nail has gone my nails have gone a bit weird it's super hard to see 
and apparently someone said that is an iron deficiency and Thomas said you've got iron deficiency and then someone said about the nails so I was like oh well <laughs> I probably do have an iron deficiency so long story short or short story long I haven't been taking these I've been taking multivitamins with iron so I'll need to actually look at the iron on them because I probably need a higher amount of iron if I'm deficient which I think I am but anyway yes moving <laughs> on and then the mouthwash I got this from Morrison's as well Lidl only have like two types of living herbs which is a shame because I would buy them all <laughs> So I bought some chives. I thought these would be good on top of my leek and potato soup. Oh, I've got a squeaker. <laughs> Hello, Poppy. Hi, you squeaking. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that would be good and they're good in mashed potatoes, all that jazz. So this is for my food prepping cupboard. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then sorry. <laughs> Check it out in my other videos. I have a food prepping boxy cupboard thing. So I got in it this week some white chocolate, milk chocolate, tin of sweet corn and a bottle of water so at the moment I probably have about a week's worth of food in my food prepping box so I'm um, going forward I'm going to spend about a pound or two plus a bottle of water a week and just kind of keep stocking it up so that is the haul for this week guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up the kids are playing in the living room and they sound like I don't know they are fighting over a game of chess they actually play chess which is hysterical a five-year-old and a six-year-old and they know how to play chess they play it properly, they set it all up, they adhere to all the rules, they're so funny, so funny. But when Oban loses, as he always does, because our guy will beat some, he doesn't like it. So that's what all the noise is, guys, if you're like, Paula, your house is crazy. Yes, my house is crazy. But thanks for joining me, guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out all of our other videos. Sky's birthday videos are live, so make sure and check them out as well, guys. And I will see you tomorrow for a regular vlog. Bye.